The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have issued a new report, the July Marketplace Enrollment Report. It was released on August 10th, and it shared some of the data of the summer sprint to coverage, the last push to get people connected to private health insurance coverage in the final days of the unique enrollment opportunity we are currently in. It's a chance for individuals to go in and purchase private health insurance or switch the plan they currently have on the Affordable Care Act's private health insurance marketplace, healthcare.gov. That enrollment report shows that more than 2.5 million Americans have enrolled in private health insurance during this current extended enrollment period. And that's counting both those folks that find their way to the federal marketplace, healthcare.gov, or the one that may be operated in their state, a state-based marketplace. In fact, the marketplace saw a 64% increase in enrollment just in the last week of July. Healthcare.gov has been open since February 15th for people to connect to private health insurance for the first time, but it only lasts until August 15th. We are in the final days. The feds are happy with the summer sprint to coverage, seeing this big increase in enrollment, but there's more work to be done in only a few more days to do it. Now recall, we got to this unique enrollment opportunity through an executive order signed by President Joe Biden. Connecting people to coverage was a priority during the ongoing COVID pandemic. It remains in place, but time is running out. It was the American Rescue Plan that was signed into law in March that then made premiums more affordable for most people connecting to private health insurance coverage on healthcare.gov. It also included incentives for folks that maybe had unemployment benefits in 2021. They were able to connect to very affordable insurance on healthcare.gov. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services have also been sharing some enrollment trend snapshot reports that detail Medicaid and children's health insurance plan enrollment. The most recent one they've highlighted has been updated as of March that showed that more than 81.7 million people have connected to Medicaid or children's health insurance programs. And remember, there is no deadline to sign up for Medicaid or children's health insurance. That is an ongoing enrollment. It can be done at any time of the year. The deadline is what exists for private health insurance. That enrollment opportunity, once again, like we said, closes August 15th. If you need to connect to private health insurance, you can start at healthcare.gov. If you're in a state that runs its own state-based marketplace, you're going to be routed there from healthcare.gov. So that's a good place to start no matter where you are. There's also a phone number to call, and we link to that in the description below. You can find local help as well. We give you the link of how to find it in a sister near you. If you are in the state of Wisconsin where we are, you can always visit wiscovered.com to find free local help. In a statement, the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Secretary Becerra, said across the country, a continued demand for high-quality, low-cost health coverage persists. Through strengthening the Affordable Care Act and pushing the Build Back Better agenda, we remain committed to ensuring Americans find health coverage that works at the lowest cost possible. You can connect to some of the resources we've described. You can find your way to healthcare.gov. You can read more on the July Marketplace Enrollment Report. We link right to the report, as well as that enrollment snapshot report that gives the Medicaid data. We also gave you the press release where we pulled Secretary Becerra's quotes for today.